Hey guys, it's me, Ryan Marquez, and yes, I'm back from Hawaii. Hawaii was just absolutely beautiful. I'm in the process of editing the coolest footage I've ever gotten in Hawaii. I definitely caught some good fish in Hawaii. I hope you enjoyed that video. But today's video is gonna be different. I'm gonna be doing a challenge using three different baits, catching three spotted bait bass on each bait. The first bait of choice today is gonna be the Berkeley Gold three inch bait fish smelt color. Second bait today is gonna be the Berkeley Gold four inch swimming mullet chartreuse color. And then the last bait of choice is gonna be the Berkeley Gold swimming mullet pearly white. All gonna be used on the drop shot technique. A one ounce sinker weight six to 10 inches away from the, the weight and hook using a size one straight worm hook. And I'm gonna be using all three baits on this drop shot technique without further ado let's complete this challenge let's go so the first Berkeley Gold project I'm using is a three inch smelt cast as far as I can and then as soon as I feel floor I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple rod twitches while slow retrieving it towards me two hours later oh got a big hit first bass of the day I think it's a small one but that was that felt like a big hit this guy wanted it, really. First bass of the day on the Brickley 3-inch smelt pattern. See ya. All right, let's try this spot. This is a good spot. Using the drop shot, cast it right parallel to that little structure. Got one. Oh, got one. Oh, it's a nice one, guys. Oh, it's a spotty. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! He just absolutely engulfed that bait. I knew there was going to be a spotty in that area. Beautiful guy. Huge! This is absolutely gorgeous. Right next to that drainage pipe. Pretty good structure for bass to be. All right, see you, buddy. Woo! That's number two for today. Woo! That's a nice one. All right. Look at that. I think this is 12 inches or so. On the top of the lip on the drop shot technique. Again, four to six inches away from the hook and weight on a one ounce sinker weight. Catching nice spotted bay bass. Here along from shore. All right, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. See ya. Woo! That's number three. Now I'm gonna switch up to the four-inch chartreuse swimming mullet. Let's see if I can catch three spotted bay bass with this bait. Two hours later. I'm not gonna be using the twitch twitch technique now. I'm actually just doing a rod tip down, slow retrieval until it gets to me. Oh, here's one. Here's one. There's one. Oh, it's a good one. Maybe 12 inches from how it's fighting. These guys fight so well for their for their side. Nice spotted bay bass. First one on this bait. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. See ya. Woo! That's number one. Here's one. There's one. Hey, we got a li nice little hybrid sand bass, spotted bay bass. Second bass on this lure. Woo! Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. Thank you. Here's one. There's one. Oh, it's a good one. It's not fighting too hard. I think it's a small one. There you go. Third bass of this lure on the chartreuse color bait. Not a monster, but it is my third one and last one using this bait. Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. See ya. Third and last Berkeley Gulp product is going to be the four inch swimming mullet pro white. Very easy to rig up. All you have to do is use that tip of the hook, poke through the nose, a good inch through the body, and then expose it on top of the bait. That's pretty much it. Again, the rig of choice, one ounce sinker weight, six to 10 inches away from the, the hook and weight. Three more catches and now uh, I could complete this challenge. Here's one. Oh, miss. Oh, here's the nibble. Here's the nibble. Oh, got it. Got it. <laughs> oh, it's a small one. Small one, but it's the first bass on this bait, making it one out of three bass that was the first cast on this bait thanks buddy for letting me catch you see ya i usually like casting to the same spot where i caught the previous bass because there's usually a group of bass in the same area here's one here's one nice that's a good one that's a good one you see that bend see that bend of the rod i think this is a 10 inch or a 12 inch the way it's fighting. Oh, it's a nice halibut. It's a halibut, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. On that Berkeley Gulp mullet weight. Added bonus. Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. See ya. Woo! Since that wasn't a spotted bass, I won't count that as a fish to this challenge. Here's one. 
Oh, nice sweep to the right. I think there's another small one because it's not fighting too hard. It'd be like seven inches or so. But hey, it's a bass. Two out of the three. Thanks, buddy, for letting me catch you. I love this technique, the ante anticipation of getting a bite like that. Oh, yes. That was sick. Three fish, three bass for three of the different baits I was using. Still using the same technique, the drop shot technique, the last bass of the day to completing that challenge. Let's go. Thanks, buddy. All right, that's it for today. I completed that nine bass challenge. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really, really enjoyed this video, give me a comment below. Let's say if I get more than 500 likes, then I'll make another video just like this. I am so glad to be back here in beautiful San Diego. Hawaii is just absolutely gorgeous, but nothing's better than, better than home. So again, my name is Ronnie Marquez, and always, always, thanks for watching. See ya.